So word on the street is that there's a new large language model in town, NVIDIA Llama 3.1 Nemotron, and it may actually surpass GPT-40 and Claude Sonnet 3.5 in its capabilities, which would be huge given that the Llama models are open source. Uh, it's a customized Llama model. And in this video, I want to, first of all, do a brief on the model itself, leveraging perplexity to see what exactly it is that was just released. And then I want to also leverage the large language model to actually build out something. So I'm going to build out a blog site from scratch, uh, leveraging this Llama, uh, NVIDIA Llama 3.1 and Replit. And so getting right into it, I'm here on Hugging Face, which is one of the area, places you're able to access the LLM right now. Uh, Hugging Face, a site where you can access a lot of open source uh, models, whether it's text models, image models, uh, video models. And so this can really be a game changer for building in the AI space and what businesses and people will be able to offer given that it's an open source uh, model. So similar to what has happened now with Im imaging and flux. To start, I wanna go over to perplexity and I wanna just do a little bit of, of more uh, intel on what exactly was released. I'm gonna type in here, tell me about NVIDIA Llama 3.1, Nemotron 70B Instruct HF. I like to use perplexity for research and anything new that comes out that I want to find more information about. So it says that it's a cutting edge large language model. As of October 1st, it holds the top position on all three automatic alignment benchmarks, surpassing other strong frontier models like GPT-40 and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. Curious what these sources are it's available for use through various platforms. All right, this is information from the Hugging Face site. And it looks like this, the example that they're using is to play on the prompt around how many R's are on strawberry, because that's the prompt that if you ask it within chat, GB, within GPT-4.0, it actually doesn't answer that, answer it correctly. And so what I wanna do now is I want to go ahead and build, build out a blog site. So I recently redid my website from scratch and I had in my original website a blog. And so what I wanna do is I wanna create a new blog that I can attach to uh, my company website. If you're looking for any sort of guidance on AI automation, definitely check out pentridgemedia.com. But okay, so I'm gonna say I'm looking to build out a blog site to where on the home page it lists all of the articles or i guess all of the blog posts rather that are that have been released i want the ui to be futuristic and the driving colors to be purple and white purple for the background, white for the text. I'd like to build it with the following frame framework stack. So my original website was built with these four, Vite, React, Shad, CN, UI, and Tailwind CSS. And then I'm gonna say, can you please provide me with the source code for this? All right, let's see what it's got. All right, so what I'm first of all noticing is that it's actually a little bit slower than some of these other models that, that we've seen, but it's giving me what I need. So I'm gonna load in this command to Replit. So I'm gonna open up the shell, copy and paste uh, the Vite. We can navigate into the project, React framework, React. Uh, looks like I don't have React as a variant say a JavaScript it should be then navigate into the product, into the blog, all the dependencies, including these. And usually it doesn't actually give me, so like when I prompt with cursor, for example, or if I were using 
uh, claw. Like it usually doesn't give me the directions in this kind of way. That's uh, very straightforward. It's actually kind of giving this to me in order, which I which I'm liking a lot so far. All right, edit tailwind.config JS include the purple white color schemes. Blog post data design your features at homepage. If needed, adjust the title. I finally, run your application to see it in action. Okay, so the next step I want to take is I want to copy all the steps. All right, and then I'll change that title to you know what the blog title name is going to be. So we're going to go over now to claw to a uh, cursor. And then in cursor, we're going to open up the cursor composer. So I'm going to hit control, uh, command I and say, I'm working on a blog for my site. Here is the code that you should use to build it out. All right. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to remove the optional for the name. I'm just going to say, adjust the title um, or rather make the title title, uh, say, uh, I'm going to say Pentridge blog. And so in addition to this, I'm going to say, make sure to also integrate the routing solution and create all the components required. And we can go from there. I'm going to hit add code base. Let's see what it comes up with. All right. So it's making all the updates now. All right. So it's made all the updates to set up a basic structure for your blog with routing, the homepage, the display list of blogs, blah, blah, blah. Remember to adjust the style as needed to match your desired features to look. So we can deal with that next. You may want to add more custom styles. All right. So next, we are going to run npm install. So first of all, we're going to save this. So save all. We're going to go over to Replit. And then we're going to run in the shell um, npm install. All right. And then we're going to run the application and see what comes up. All right. So I'm going to say currently, so currently um, I'm seeing a white page with the following info. I'm going to npm install again. So I'll stop this for the shell. NPM, uh, npm install and then npm run dev. All right, there we go. So it's showing up now, it's supposed to be titled uh, the Pentridge blog, but all right, let me put this into a browser. It's weird that the styling isn't coming up on the browser. All right, so, I'm, so next I'm going to, I'm actually going to use Talktastic. So what I'm going to say is, all right, so something is running, but uh, first of all, the blog should be called uh, the Pentridge blog. It should also be um, fit to uh, the screen of uh, the computer, not on the mobile screen, although it should also be mobile a mobile responsive the purple should be uh, a darker purple i still want that modern look uh, or, the, or rather more futuristic look and on the home page you should be able to see all of the articles that have or the blog posts that have been released and so if you can use sort of like dummy blog posts on that home page then when you click on them it'll take you to the actual page of the post all right all right, so let's see what it comes up with. All right, this looks much better at first glance. This looks like it's still maybe more mobile, more mobile based. Okay, no, we actually. Okay, this this is this looks good. All right, so I made some changes to the blog to update it. So I added in. I went to my original blog on my former website and I added a post in. So I copy and pasted the image to cursor. And then from there, uh, I was able to prompt for it to, uh, for the image to be added in. And now I'm looking to create the article or the blog post. Now, the thing with cursor is that sometimes it would not cooperate. And so you have to manually go in and make changes yourself. And so I've been prompting for changes in the to add the actual content of the blog post itself, which it hasn't done. And so I have that uh, copied and pasted here, but since it's not rendering with cursor, what uh, I have to go and do is go to Replit, and Replit has an AI feature where you can prompt for these particular changes that I was having trouble um, implementing with cursor, and then it can help either make the updates for you or it can guide you through the files to actually go into.
So that's a rundown of NVIDIA's Llama specialized model and the example for how I would go about building out my blog for my website. From the looks of it, it actually is a little bit slower from what I'm seeing, but the quality of the output, that code that I posted into Replit and that initial uh, interface that it gave me for the site was better than I get on average before I start continuing with the prompts to improve on the interface and uh, user experience. However, also keep in mind that for the building out of the site after that initial layer, it was all based on Cloud Sonnet 3.5 because that's what um, I was using cursor to prompt on top of. And so from where I left off to finish building out the, the site, I would use Replit's AI feature to go through any individual files that may need to be changed. Cursor is really great. However, sometimes it can reach a standstill where it's not making the changes that you needed to, and it can be faster to get guidance on what specifically needs to get changed within a file. Uh, Replit's AI feature is very uh, good for that, though it could take a little bit longer than um, to work through those individual files that need to get changed. It's an exciting time for these large language models because of the rate at which they are uh, improving and being launched and also the competition among these different uh, companies and models at large. This NVIDIA Llama model is really exciting, especially given the level at which it can perform because it's open source. And so with it being open source, and we'll see what access looks like as far as including them in your development and projects, um, maybe Replicate will launch it, replicate.com, because that puts the idea of these open source large language models at uh, another echelon. And yeah, it'll be interesting to see where uh, where things go next. But if you want me to do other videos like this, uh, I periodically put out videos on apps that I'm working on building out, sites that I'm working on doing using um, AI and natural language programming, and also do a lot of uh, automation tutorials. So hit the subscribe button if you like what you saw. Let me know if there's anything you want to see a video or tutorial on or just content in general. But with that, that is NVIDIA's Llama large language model it just got released uh, this month and you can find it right now on Hugging Face.